So ladies and gentlemen, what I'm showing you here, and I'm going to show you later in the video, a slow down time lapse of the spinning cube of the sun simulator. I said before my other videos, I just want to show you in slow motion. I'll go into much greater detail of what we're looking at in the collaborating evidence. This indeed is a cube. It is the black dot that we see in our cameras. This is slowed down to one quarter speed of the actual video. I'll show you this blindingly white. I'm going to ask the YouTube subscriber to show me what kind of camera, how it was zoomed in, if any filters were used. It doesn't look like any filters were used. But she is looking right down the barrel of the sun simulator. Hello, everyone. This is Nabir Watcher. It is July 9th, 2017. I am on Eva Healy's YouTube channel, and she captured something that really grabbed my attention about the sun simulator. So I'm just going to get right into it. Is this further backs up everything we've known so far and this was very revealing video of the sun simulator let's just watch so it looks like we have a spinning cubicle mirror in the air i'm just going to continue watching this whole thing one minute, 17 seconds, a spinning mirror. I believe we also have a lens in front of it, which helps focus this energy. We're, I believe we're looking through the lens and directly in line with this dot. The alignment that this person has is very rare to be looking right down the barrel of the sun simulator Fresnel lens, which is a spinning mirror this coincides with everything i have videotaped so far pretty amazing let's look at the other more also collaborating evidence that goes with this so here is some photographs i've been sitting on from a subscriber and i'm sorry i forgot your name but i didn't have enough collaboration to be able to use these photos if you are watching this please tell me I will give you the credit so let's just watch some of these photos that appeared from this mirror on someone's garage you are the lucky person <laughs> that this thing goes through and scans goes goes across the earth look at this progression of photos look at this thing rotate this is again black and white photos of the same mirror as it's rotating on this person's garage here are some more photos we can see the lines the on this giant actually apparently not too big we can see as this mirror is revolving look that it's basically yellow in nature wouldn't that be gold reflectors here we have another one i'm going to quickly go through we can see the this will totally collaborate with everything we've seen so far so i'm going to put um, yeah, never mind that. These are taking from the house. This is as it first started coming through the uh, on the looks like a sunrise, and then here we could see the square sun. And these aren't as compelling. And then we have one last one here. Again, if. You are the one that did whoever had done this i forgive me for not remembering who had sent these photos but i did save them thank you very much again this is the same spinning fresnel lens on an infrared telescope this mirror would be basically cool spinning how was it mounted there i have probably a double axis gyroscope looking thing which i have a picture of and again it was 
which I believe was probably held on by this device. We see an axis here and here, and this thing probably rotates. And they hit this thing with light, possibly from a group of mirrors or lasers. Again, um, to see the cone-shaped light, I believe we're looking at, as we're looking down the lens array, actually, hold on a second. Let me show you the patent idea. This is, I believe, the reflecting back to the light. That's the light that's coming. Go back and look at this, but this light source is coming through here. This is the object that's spinning and bouncing this light back down to here. And this is spinning to the sill, hoping that we don't see it. It does send a narrow cone of light that we see. This is the black dot. The black dot we see, like on this video. This was from the Zion Warrior. Watch him zoom in on this again. We can see the cool black dot as he zooms in on this dot, which we now know is a cubical mirror. At some angles, a cube would actually look hexagonal too. Let me see you get him to zoom in on this. We'll get right here. Yeah. So the trolls and debunkers would say that that is a camera that is causing it to overload. But that is blown out of the water with that myth because here we see the black dot rising on a sunset reflecting on the water. Let me fast forward this. Here's the black dot again. And we see it reflecting on the water below. So uh, we know that this thing is real. It's being in front of the sun. And then from the Steve Olson Scott channel, this is what was captured on the same similar device on with an analog camera capturing the same thing. This, I believe, is the Fresnel lens in front of it, which scatters the light, I believe, in front of the cube. And then the reason why we have the uh, fake sun, I believe this is the reflector dish that reflects the light onto the spinning cubicle device. And then we see that images over an FAA camera and around the world, this hexagonal mirror because of the source of light it's coming from the bouncing the spinning mirror. The cone-shaped light that we see is, I believe, coming from these cones of light. I believe this would be the black dot. We're not, it's not in alignment with it, but these would be the black dot and the cone shape. I believe it might have two sides of this spinning Fresnel lens, but we can watch this thing rotate as well in front of it and the sun, a rotating sun flare. Yeah, okay. You need to wake up, people. This thing is real. It's really out there. Why is it out there? Well, perhaps I'm going to, this is why it's out there. This is a Fox Dark Sun Halo. And here we can see the, I want you to focus your attention on a few things in this picture. I want you to notice the outer diameter of these halos never changes, but the diameter of the inner fake sun does. And we could see when high altitude clouds or make it look smaller and low altitudes make it look bigger. Notice the changing diameter. If that would have been the true sun, it would have never changed in size because of the angle of light that approaches the earth. I also want you to notice to see how whatever object is now eclipsing the light is no longer, it's not even a balanced halo. Look, we've got more light on this side and less light down here. This is over Fox News. Yeah, you're looking at a eclipse. And now, just like in my demonstration, we have a real sun and a fake sun like the flashlight and then we get chemtrails in front of it like this paper high altitude demonstrating that light is changing the diameter of the sun 
according to the altitude of the clouds. That, again, would be impossible unless it was a smaller, more clo much closer source of light. And for those of you who still might be new to this eclipse, if a planetary body goes and blocks our sun, they turn on the simulator, and I believe they can dim the brightness up and down as well. And so when we have an eclipse, they turn on the fake sun, and then we get the sun halo like we saw in that Fox News time-lapse video. And at a certain point during this halo, there will be a loss of heat. And no, the sun simulator does not create heat. It's smaller. The real heat of the sun can pass through the sun simulator. We still feel it doesn't block the heat. But we feel a heat loss when it gets eclipsed by another celestial body. So one more thing about the lens array, but we also do evidence of the lens array and the sun simulator with a, the rotating cubicle mirror now we've discovered. Watch the reflection of this thing bounce from this oscillating light as the sun simulator passes from behind the lens array. Focus here and here. I believe this again is because of the spinning cubicle mirror in a very timely rotating manner in a time-lapse video over Australia and the lens pedal effect from the sun simulator. Anyways, please copy, like, and share this video. Have a blessed day. See you at the Lord's Supper.